Hi there, you guys. It's Cassandra72, and I'm coming to you again with a couponing haul. I'm from Walgreens. So, I don't know. Um, couponing is a definite addiction for me. And I think I need an intervention. <laughs> and I laugh, but I'm totally serious because I didn't have anything I necessarily needed from Walgreens. There was nothing that stood out for me. I could have really cared less whether or not, you know, I went to Walgreens because um, there was nothing that I necessarily needed from them to add to my stockpile or to add to my inventory for my flea market sales. Yeah, because um, I have plenty of gum in that both in the house. Um, I have that Mentos up to you. I had that from, you know, the deal we just had <clears throat> where it was 39 cents each and then we had the dollar off two coupon. I probably had some left from the many times. This is, it's been free before over the past year that I've been couponing. So I definitely did not need anybody's gum. <laughs> you know, what I have in the house, my daughter can go through a pack a day. Um... If I let her, um, but I just refuse to give it to her. I mean, it's probably far worse things that she can have. And I know I paid nothing for it, but that's beside the point. Um, gum isn't a pack of gum. Isn't something that you should go through in a day. Um, and she can do that even if she's not sharing it with people. So, um, but she probably does share and that's a good thing. But at the same time, um, I think they're just basically chewing it, and as soon as the flavor is gone, they chew another piece. So, <clears throat> yeah, until she learns to be a little bit more, um, I won't say responsible, but you know, basically that's it. <laughs> Learn to, you know, to to be able to stretch your stuff out a little bit more. Then no, you're not going to be depleting my stockpile because you know I don't do Halloween at all. I never have, but. You know, if I decided I wanted to participate in anything, um, give some of the neighborhood kids that, you know, do come over to visit um, or the kids that, you know, used to stay here um, because they're not far or my nephew, who's also just right across the way. If I decide I want to, you know, give them something for Halloween. OK, well, here you go. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Or just to have on hand in case you ever do need to, um, you know, you want to give a kid a little treat. So, not going to do that with her going through a pack a day. <laughs> Alright, so enough of that rambling. So, like I said, we see here that I've gone out and I've gotten the ID stride. And I got it all in berry melon. Which is probably kind of selfish of me because, like I said, I don't even chew gum like that. But I didn't want spearmint and I didn't want peppermint. <laughs> so, I picked up all the berry melon. Uh, well, not all, but I all... What I have here is Mary Berry Melon. <laughs> berry Melon. <laughs> so yeah, um I thought they didn't have any, but they were they were actually like right up on the register. You know how you go on Walgreens and they have that candy that's like three for two dollars or something like that. They're trying to get you to buy because it's and it's sitting right at as you check out. Well, this is where that this was. Because I was about to leave the store thinking they didn't have it, but I decided to ask and she said, Oh yeah, it's right up at the register. And I'm thinking, I already been up there to the register, you know, by the register, and I wasn't seeing anything in the checkout lane. Well, that's why, because I hadn't gone that far. But anyway, yeah, you guys, what I've done here is I've gone out to um, to uh, take advantage of just wanting to see how this point system, you know, how this point thing did. So, um what I have done is I went out and got this gum. I'm just rambling, you guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so sorry that this video seems to lack structure. <sighs> yeah, so. <laughs> Wanted to see, you know, go ahead and, and get my points rolling, so, so to speak. So that is why I went out and did this. Um, I did have a... Um, some rewards that I said I could use to, you know, help keep my out of pocket as low as possible, um, and earn me some rewards. So, like I said, that's what I did.
decided that I wanted to do. And so that's what I did. Um, so the deal with these, everyone's doing it. They're on sale two for two dollars. And then once you purchase them, and once you purchase two, you will get a thousand uh, balance rewards. Okay. So I had a three dollar register reward that I was going to use. So I said that I will go out and I would use that. Okay. Now, like I said, these are two for two. So that was six dollars. But um, I think in some of last week's inserts, there might have been um, a gum coupon. Buy one, get one free. Um, it wasn't in my red plum and I actually didn't see any mention of it on the database that I use at the grocery game.com. I didn't see any mention of, um, of what coupon, well, I'm, excuse me, what insert that it would have been in or even what it would have been, but I'm going to assume that's what it is. Um, any of you that know any different, you can feel free to leave a comment, um, below letting me know, but yeah, um, what I did was I actually, at the grocery game, I was able to print off a coupon um, that was good for up to $1.28, buy one, get one free. And then as I did another search, I found Target coupons. Um, but, you know, sometimes when you go to Target sites, sometimes they are Target web coupons, sometimes they are manufacturer's coupons. In this case, they were manufacturer's coupons, and I was able to print two, um, buy one, get one free. For up to a dollar so for each one of these that i bought the other one was free so basically i was only going to pay three dollars <throat> and then i had a three dollar register reward that i wanted to use and so this is what it made my receipt then look like all right so i have purchased the id gum and berry melon all right i have six of those at two for twenty so that was six dollars all right and then I threw in a Wrigley um, extra dessert gum. I've actually already opened that, you guys. Oh my God, it really is sugar free, but it really does taste just like apple pie. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So that was on sale for 69 cents. All right. Now, when the coupon scan, and I hadn't really paid attention to that until I got ready to use my register reward, and then she had to. Um, the cashier had to void my transaction or have it voided. And I noticed that it was because, um, I was trying to use a $3 register reward and my purchase would have been only three, $3. I would have been paying $3, right? Yeah. But actually, in all actuality, because that coupon scan for $1.28, then I only had $2.72. So I needed another two. 28 cents somewhere so after she voided the transaction and I had her go ahead and take the people that were behind me I just went and threw in that gum for the um, the 69 cents <clears throat> so um, as you see my coupons coming off the 128 the one dollar the one dollar and the register reward for three dollars you see my subtotal is 41 cents so that's the difference between that 69 cents and the 21 28 cents all right, my sales tax was then $0.47, cents, so I paid $0.88 cents out of pocket. Um, I saved a total of $9.82, had a 96% savings, and you see that I earned a bonus of $3,000. So I purchased, you know, three of the deals, so I got 3,000 points, and my points to my next reward is $2,000. Um, because for those of you that may or may not be familiar with the point system, you do have to earn 5,000 points before um, you're able to cash anything in. So um, at 5,000 5, points equals, basically, you convert that over to $5. Um, and then I think the next level is for $10, it's, is it 10,000 points? Yeah, 10,000 points for $10. And then it's 18,000 points for twenty dollars okay and then from there i really don't remember um it's, it's, it's some oh then yes i do after that you then get the next point level is thirty thousand points and you would get basically that would equate to forty dollars i believe no that's not right it's thirty five dollars um and then 40,000 40, points equals 50. 
dollars. Ugh. Anyway, somewhere I, I I might try to post that in the description box below because I know I just totally screwed that up. Probably uh, confuse you all as well as myself. So yeah, um, I earned three thousand points, and I'm two thousand um towards getting my next reward. So, um, and they gave me a rewards card. Um, even though I had signed up online. And I was saying that I think I might get my card in the mail. They still went ahead and gave me a card anyway. So, um, yeah. So, I don't know what I'll do if that card actually does come in the mail or how that will work. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Here's me just getting my feet wet with this balance rewards thing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, until I can earn another 2,000 points, I can't even test how thing, how, how smoothly it rolls. Um, and by rolling, I mean that much like um, the register reward system where you cannot buy a, um, like a swab item that produces a register reward and turn around and get another swab and get a register reward. This basically sort of functions like that, in a sense. You cannot use balance rewards on another item that's going to produce balance rewards and get the balance rewards so what you have to do is you'll have to buy you can use those balance rewards on something that will produce a register reward and you will get your register reward then you can use register rewards as you saw that i did you can use register rewards to purchase an item that will produce balance rewards and you'll have to roll that back and forth um, so I can imagine that this is going to be really interesting. Um, if you're, if a deal comes up that you're getting, you're able to basically roll between the two, um, each week, much like we did the cotton nail and the swab or the, or, or for me, the, um, the swab and the, and the cough medicine or the glade, whatever you were doing. So I can imagine it being, um, <laughs> what an interesting, um, scenario it would be. If you're having to roll between those two um, point systems or reward systems and then having to throw fillers in on top of that, yeah, Walgreens, <laughs> you're making it difficult for our skew partners, I think. But, you know, it might not be as bad as, as I'm making it out to be. Time will only tell. All right, you guys, until the next video, peace and blessings.